Hello. The painting that I will be talking about today is John Singer Sargent's The Wyndham Sisters. Sargent was best known as a master portrait painter who specialized in immortalizing the wealthy, the powerful, and the beautiful during the late 19th century, also known as the Gilded Age. His talent at capturing the beauty and elegance of the opulent time made him the premier artist for symbolizing wealth and status. These are the Wyndham sisters. Starting with the oldest, we have Mary, Madeline, and the youngest and most beautiful, Pamela. The three daughters of the Honorable Percy Wyndham and his wife Madeline could not be more different. Mary was smart and outspoken, Madeline was quiet and reserved, while Pamela was wild and uncontrollable. Both Mary and Pamela had multiple affairs outside of their marriages, leading to scandalous behavior and illegitimate children. Madeline, on the other hand, had a happy, lifelong marriage with a blissful sex life to boot. When the portrait was completed in spring of 1900, Sargent exhibited the work at the Royal Academy. It was welcomed with high praises, including Edward, the Prince of Wales, naming the Wyndham sisters the Three Graces. The approximately 9 by 7 foot oil on canvas is an impressive symbol of status and size alone. The painting was commissioned for £2,000, the equivalent of almost $400,000 today. The portrait captures the elegant subjects draped in decadent finery while surrounded by their aristocratic luxury. Positioned on a large brocade sofa in the drawing room of their family's residence in Belgrave Square, every inch of this painting exemplifies the wealth and status of the times. The color palette is the first thing that draws us in. The stark break between the subjects and the space around them is captivating and invites us to examine further. The lighting and tones of the gold, white, and ivory used on the layers of satin, tulle, and organza only enhance the richness of the affluent figures. If you look above the sisters, you will see a faint portrait of their mother, Madeline, painted by family friend George Frederick Watts. Sargent strategically placed the girls around the portrait to establish their genealogy and reminds us of his ties to painters of the past. One of the most important pieces of information is the way the sisters are placed in the illuminated bottom right half of the canvas while the darkened wall consumes the rest of the painting. I believe the balance of light and dark might have more meaning than meets the eye. When the portrait was painted, all three sisters had been married for quite some time, leaving us to assume that Sargent was fully aware of the lady's marital improprieties. Keeping that in mind, the use of light only adds to the overall effect and manages to invoke a feeling both rich and luminous while simultaneously being dark and sordid. I think this is a brilliant move on Sargent's part showing off the beauty and grace of the Wyndhams while hinting at something mysterious, almost as if he wants us to look past the surface and view what lies beneath. Sargent allowed us glimpses into the world of opulence, but is that all he really wanted us to see? For my creative interpretation, I have reimagined the Wyndham sisters as women of today designing their looks to play up their strengths and personalities, giving all three women a girlish femininity mixed with a new world modernity. Just as Sargent did, I kept the palette light and airy while I removed the darkness as to not restrict the women's actions as they were in the past, allowing them the freedom to be the type of women they choose to be. Thank you.